Hey guys, this is Dame Tech and I'm back with another exciting video. In this video, we'll be doing a PC gaming test on both of these flagship devices using Resident Evil 4, one or if not the most demanding PC port on the iOS platform. Needless to say, this is another fun test and not a direct one-to-one -one comparison between these two devices. Therefore, results cannot be directly compared. Another big reason is that RE4 Remake has an aggressive DRM, which prevents emulation from ever happening. Therefore, on the Android side, the only version of Resident Evil 4 that can be emulated is the Ultimate HD Edition, which again means this is not a direct one-to-one -one comparison. However, RE4 Ultimate Edition is still very demanding, which you'll soon see. With that being said, let's get to some FPS performance testing and then review performance data outcomes. Forget your makeup or something? How far could you have gone? Anyone home? Sorry to barge in like this. Who's cool? I own Felicia. You know a key? I was wondering if he might recognize a girl in this photograph. Sorry to have bothered you.
gone to one. Something's happened to the people here. Un forastero! My escorts are... Gotta go. Talk later. So far.
So now that we've tested both devices for roughly 20 minutes, it's clearly obvious that both devices were having a difficult time keeping the targeted 60 frames per second limit. But starting with temperature first, if we start with the iPhone, it's peaking up to only 38 Celsius, which is very, very impressive. S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is also peaking up to a low 41 Celsius, which is again, impressive, especially since it's emulating the game versus the native port on iOS. Now, moving on to FPS, starting with the iPhone, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is first and foremost using iOS 18.3.1. And again, I tested for close to 20 minutes. As for FPS, I did average 54 frames per second with 1% FPS lows being 25 frames per second. And as for GPU usage, it's actually not that bad. The iPhone 16 Pro Max used about 70% GPU average usage in this testing time. And also, even though not noted, power consumption draw was around 6 watts of power. Now, moving on to the S25 Ultra, here I averaged 51 frames per second, and the 1% FPS lows are 15 frames per second. The S25 Ultra surprisingly struggled with this game. However, this is not attributed to the Snapdragon 8 Elite being inferior, but more so emulation drivers. Many games are still not fully supported and work properly with the Snapdragon 8 Elite or even still the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Henceforth, it may be a while or even till next year before we see games fully optimized via emulation for the Snapdragon 8 Elite. But needless to say, thanks for watching and definitely subscribe and stay tuned because I do plan to do many more emulation testing on the Galaxy S25 Ultra.